Good evening. It's gone six o'clock. I think it's somewhere near... Ooh, oh, it's nearly seven o'clock. That's pretty bad. Up until about six o'clock today, I had recorded literally 14 seconds worth of footage to show how miserable and... Well, not miserable, but how misty and foggy it was this morning. That's it. Not felt very motivated today for the... Most of the morning I was in my pyjamas doing stuff. But obviously I wasn't recording it because you don't need to see me in my pyjamas. James is on his way home. And this evening I've got a Zoom call arranged with some friends. So I've got about half an hour before that starts. And then James will probably be, be home about, I don't know how long after that. Um, so I'm just going to carry on doing the bits that need doing. I was just watching the Little Drops of Wonderful vlog, sorry, this Little Wonderful Life, which is done by Ali of the Little Drops of Wonderful podcast, but it's a, the other channel she has for her and her family. She was talking about how she reads A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens every evening, every evening, every year. So I thought, I know, let's go onto Amazon, see if I can find a free copy and I'll read it on my Kindle. So yes, anyway, I found a free copy. I found a free copy of a whole load of other Christmas books he wrote. But the interesting thing, I think, is that they've got a whole load of foreign language books or foreign, sorry, foreign language translations of uh, Charles Dickens books. So some of them you can kind of work out. See, at Les Grandes d'Espérance, Great Expectations, that's pretty obvious. Olivier Twist, that's again pretty obvious. Vie et adventure de Nicolas Nicolby, etc. etc. So you've got Adventure de Monsieur Pickwick, The Adventures of Mr. Pickwick. So the English title is Pickwick, Pickwick Papers. Now this one in Spanish, Papeles Postumos del Club Pickwick. I believe the Spanish translation is The Posthumous Papers from the Pickwick Club. Let's see what Google Translate says. There you go. Posthumous papers of the Pickwick Club. The laptop has been mended. James thought it was a problem with the laptop, pulled it apart. Then a colleague suggested it might not actually have been the laptop. It was the charger. So he came home, found that the charger, it was actually the charger that didn't work, but because he tried to mend it yesterday, something was out of sync. Um, and then this evening he sorted out, was it the belt driver, did you say, lovely? Uh, what, 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 what was it you fixed this evening? Well, 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 let's start from scratch. James is going to explain from scratch. Uh, the charger had failed. I had a new charger that I was able to use, and that worked on it. However, I had already started to take it apart because the instructions on the website for uh, what nowhere the error does it code say that was three blinks on LEDs, that LED, LED was means that it was the main it's totally run out failed. of battery. So I took and it apart because why charge. wouldn't you? But it does say three blinks of that LED. Your mainboard has failed. Bit of a blinking confusion then. Hmm. But anyway, it has now been put together. Hmm. Um, put back and mended. So there is one fully functioning laptop back in service. And one castaway screensaver who's still doing something goodness knows what with the tree and making very weird noises whilst doing it. Um, the conversation with... Friends this evening went quite well. Once we'd all managed to get logged in, Zoom was doing something weird and funny and I don't know what it was doing. Um, but it was, it's, it, that's all good and fine. And one of the ladies on the call has a toddler daughter who's two years old, just over two, two and a quarter, um, who's at the point of potty training. And so we were basically had a great long conversation about girls' knickers and places that you could find Gruffalo knickers. And I had a look on the Georgia Asda website to see what knickers there were there. 
And oh my goodness, there was an inordinate amount of pink. An inordinate amount of pink knickers. Um, which saddens me slightly because the whole pink equals girls thing is just so tedious and so ingrained um, and so blinking boring. Um, but yes, that, I think it's fair to say the highlight of my evening was probably discussing girls knickers. And that tells you the kind of Monday that I've had. So I'm going to go to bed because sleep, sleep is good. Mm -hmm.